Welcome to this tech tip showing how to replace a legacy Code Wizard post processor with a modern adaptive one. My name is Joe Sanders and I am part of the application engineer team at M2 Technologies. We help manufacturing companies turn initial concepts into finished products faster by integrating digital prototyping into the design and manufacturing process. EdgeCam is one of the software tools that we use to help our customers produce high quality finished products faster and at lower cost. The question of legacy versus adaptive post processors has been coming up a lot on our tech support desk recently. Put simply, you can use your legacy post processors with EdgeCam software. However, you're missing out on technology that's readily available with the modern adaptive Code Wizard templates. The point of this tech support video is to show you how to transfer the information in your legacy Code Wizard document to a new adaptive template based one. To keep this brief, I'm going to resist the temptation to explain why the change to the underlying structure was necessary and the advantages of the new structure. It is appropriate to quickly highlight a few capability differences. The adaptive templates have been available for quite a long time now, and many of the newer machining cycles are only available to adaptive template-based Code Wizard post processors. In my view, one of the most compelling reasons for the adaptive template is the excellent integration with Toolstore data. This will increase your productivity on a daily basis. So, how do you tell if your Code Wizard document is an adaptive template? In EdgeCam, with the sequence created, the legacy post processors do not have the spindle tab integrated into the tool dialog. In Code Wizard, choose Properties from the File menu. Documents created using the modern templates will include adaptive in the name and description. While the post processor structure is different, the Code Wizard interface is remarkably consistent between the different files. Assuming that a legacy Code Wizard document is a proven post processor that generates acceptable CNC code, the data can be quickly transferred to a new adaptive template based Code Wizard post. This slide shows a quick outline of the process, and we're going to follow this with a brief video to demonstrate how this is done. Start by opening the legacy Code Wizard document in the Code Wizard, and then open Code Wizard a second time and start a new document. Configure this new document to use a suitable template. Notice that we've positioned the two Code Wizard sessions side by side. This will allow us to work through each of the major Code Wizard sections, and we'll configure the new template to match the settings in the proven one. You'll notice that many of the input fields are similar. As we move to the spindle tab, we'll configure the spindle speed ranges in the new post to match the settings from the old one. You would do the same thing with the format table, with the NC style G codes and modality sections. The code constructors, the output area can be simply copied from the old one and pasted into the new one because many of the token names are preserved in the similar. The example here, I'll take the tool change from the old post, copy the output area tokens, and paste them into the area for the new one. After going through the post processors and copying data over, you'll want to save the new Code Wizard post with a different name and then compile it. The post processor is now ready for testing. You may notice some output in CNC code that is text inside square brackets. This is obviously not proper CNC code. 
and this indicates that a token copied from the legacy code wizard document isn't available in the new one. This is usually a simple matter of replacing the invalid text with a proper token from that code constructor's available token list. The code constructor trace debugging tool is very helpful in identifying which code constructor created the CNC code. I would recommend keeping both the legacy and the new code wizard documents. You will want to use the new one for any new EdgeCam parts you create, but the old one will continue to be useful for existing EdgeCam parts that you may need to make minor adjustments to and create new CNC code files in the future. This is a small sampling of EdgeCam's industry-leading technology. Visit our website for more information and contact us if you're ready to reduce the time it takes to design and manufacture products.